Hey guys, welcome to FCS. Uh, this video is just going to be a brief introduction to the FCS Networker interface. I'm going to go through things pretty quickly, um, but that's just to give you an overall idea of how this all works. You'll notice that each page in the top right hand corner will have a tutorial. Uh, I definitely recommend going through and uh, reading through the tutorials, watching the videos and whatnot. It'll give you a much better understanding and it's on every page in the top right hand corner. So that's really um, what can help you uh, get the most out of the system and really learn all the features that we have. But this video, I'm just going to go through some things pretty quickly just to give you a basic idea. So when you first log in, um, this is the screen you're going to see. You'll see uh, have some news. It'll show you our currently supported sites um, that we submit to and uh, a few things to help you get started. Uh, you, first of all, I definitely suggest viewing all the video tutorials and checking out our FCS private forum. Our uh, forum, you automatically had an account created on it when you signed up for FCS. So basically, you can just if you click this, it'll take you to the forum, um, which you could uh, use your username. If you're unsure, your username is up here, and then the password that you logged in with, and that will uh, get you logged into the forum. Um, you could also access it from the tools menu right here. You could uh, check out the forum. And I definitely recommend checking out the forum because we have guides, lessons, tutorials, and secrets, like great SEO information that has helped us and tons of our users rank websites that uh, are not affected by the constant Google updates. It really shows you some great techniques to get some long lasting uh, rankings. So you have all your tutorials and whatnot up here. Then you can discuss in the forum, ask any questions that you want. Um, uh, right here, we got some other uh, general forums, downloads, things of that nature, and then the FCS support forum and marketplace. So definitely uh, log in and check out what the forum has to offer. It'll, it uh, will no doubt help you at least a little bit, no matter what your uh, FCS knowledge level is. Uh, not FCS, what your SEO knowledge is. Then I would uh, pretty much... Right when I got started, I would activate your free link indexing and uh, free rank tracking that we offer. Um, just go ahead and click on those and then just activate those services. Um, may as well, they're both free. Then we have some free stuff. Um, our SEO tools that you can check out, which is a bunch of just little SEO tools that can help you in your SEO campaigns. Um, you some other downloads, a beginner's linking strategy, which if you're just starting out is a great strategy that will uh, basically give you a uh, simple plan and guideline to get started. Um, and it's just like a very simple strategy for beginners to show you how FCS works and how um, even a simple strategy can definitely help you with your ranking. So, um, if you're just starting out, I would definitely uh, recommend um, checking that out. Then here we got the tool settings menu. We showed you the SEO tools section, the FCS forum. Uh, you have your user settings um, menu, which uh, will give you show you user in, info. This is where you activate your free rank tracking, link indexing, um, your dead account check, you could change the number of uh, when we consider account dead. You can check out our spinner services, um, article builder, API, um, stuff like that. Basically put all your settings in there. Change your password. You could reset your software license. Um, your software is allowed to be activated on two machines. If you get in uh, if you get an error message, invalid license or whatnot, it means you may have activated on more than two. Just go and reset your software license and you're good to go. So you can switch computers whenever you want, things like that. We tried to make it really easy for you guys. Um, you can check out the tutorials page, which should have a bunch of video tutorials. Um, definitely check that out when you're just getting started. Uh, you can access our support desk. Um, buy sell section of the forum um, if you're looking to sell some accounts buy some accounts stuff like that um, and then if you're interested in our affiliate program you can check that out there all right uh, let's get started on the actual interface um, 
you got your view add accounts page, which is basically where you control and add, import all of your accounts. Um, it's your main account hub. You got your accounts categories page, which is where you would uh, basically put together your um, networks of sites. It's where you can categorize however you'd like your sites to be. As you can see, I have car insurance, Amazon product. And then uh, you could go into those categories and edit, um, add or remove accounts by checking and unchecking and, and things of that nature. So this is where you would categorize your accounts and organize them into networks. Uh, basically the same thing for the articles. You have your main view add article hub where you can import bar bulk articles, import articles via RSS feed, or import them from article builder or scrape article directories. We have a couple that you're able to scrape there. Um, if you don't want to import in bulk, you can import uh, just your article one at a time. You could spin it preview and you'll see your articles right here. So this is where you would edit and do uh, most of your article work. And then uh, same thing as with categories, we have article sets. Here's where you would organize your article into a set. Um, you have some car insurance articles that you want. So I have all those in an article set. Um, so the, the accounts and articles basically work the same way and you can organize them uh, the same way, just ones for accounts and ones for articles. Then you have your link sets where you can add your uh, different link sets. So you, this will be our search engine link set and then you put your anchors and then you can save. Our blurbs, blurbs are small um, article snippets, uh, not article snippets, just small um, little passages that you could add to articles to make them more unique. You could use a blurb as a resource box. Um, there's just a lot of different options. Uh, here's an example of a small blurb. Uh, you'll see it's spun and then you preview it. This can be a little blurb. I want to into some of my articles. So basically a blurb is just a little piece that you could add into your articles to make them more unique. That brings us to our ad projects page. This is basically the main hub of uh, FCS Network. This is where you will add your projects. Um, and uh, this is where all the submissions will get done. You name your project. You could schedule it, number of days you want it to drip out for. You could set a project start date if you want it later in time. Otherwise, if you just leave it, it'll start uh, right after you create the project. It's where you can add uh, your articles um, you can oh, let me go back there you can flip through your article sets to choose your articles um, you could add one spun article uh, if you want you could use our auto content syndication feature which you where you won't need to supply your own articles will go and search the web for relevant content and uh, supply the articles for you um, then you would add the accounts you want to submit to. You can choose by category, you can choose that entire category, um, stuff like that. Then you have our extra options. You could our auto linking, where you could add some links, uh, do a link wheel, do a pyramid. If you've already created other projects, you'll see your other projects show up in the pyramids. So you could build pyramid links to those. We have a secondary linking option, um, which just gives you another. You can set your links to your money site with the first linking option. Then if you had a link set of authority links, you could use that as your secondary linking. So it just gives you some more options. You could uh, have auto images and videos, just images, just videos or both. Here's where you could select your blurbs that you want to use. Um, you could choose one set of blurbs to put at the top of an article. Let's say I wanted uh, these two blurbs. One of them will randomly be chosen to put at the top of the article. And these two will put at the bottom. And then we have a nicely curated article. Uh, looks like we put a nice passage up top, nice passage on the bottom, use some auto content syndication. All of a sudden we have a, uh, tons of blogs with great curated content. 
You use our unique gener generator, which is for making your articles more unique. Shuffle paragraphs, shuffle sentences, or you could spin. You could do all three. You could just do two. Um, so it just helps you make your articles more unique. Then our project statistics page is where you could uh, you view your projects. Um, with a bunch of different options. You could download the home page URLs. You could download the links, delete dead accounts, retry failed accounts. Um, this is where you'll see your projects running. All my projects happen to be closed. Um, then if you click on the project, you can see your submission results. Um, you see your links that have gone out and the URLs when they went out, the articles that it was associated with, stuff like that. Um, and uh, th that's basically the system. Once again, as you'll see, you have the tutorial in the top right hand corner. Make sure you guys go and check those out, read through them. Um, the videos aren't as updated as the text, but we try to keep the text updated. So make sure you read through the tutorials. It'll help you a lot and really show you the full power of FCS. So that's it for this video and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy.